Um, well, first of all, I started in rushes, um, but I um, realised that I wanted to, very early on, get into colour grading. That was just what I wanted to do. So I just used to hang around in that department as, as often as I could and then sort of semi-moved myself in right there, really, with a, um, a desk and, yeah. So I was learning rushes, but I was also learning grading at the same time and just, well, realised that was what I wanted to do. Well, what I do now is just really evening up for density and colour um, shot by shot throughout the whole of the film. In the 80s and late 80s and 90s and into 2000, to th early 2000s, um, I would be sitting down with a director or a director of photography or anyone else who wanted to be involved in, in the look or the mood of the film and we would look through a cutting copy which would, which would be all of the shots cut together um, and just discuss the look and the feel of the film, whether it was a documentary or a commercial or a feature. I suppose in 1984 I had a couple of friends who worked at the National Film Unit and they'd been asking me to um, perhaps get an interview, which I did and yeah, was successful and after I'd been there for about a week I just thought, oh my God, I made the wrong decision here, but um, persevered with it and never expected it to lead me in the direction which it did. I'd um, worked in um, photographic stills for just about all of my life, since I was about the age of four, because my dad was a photographer, and so I used to help him um, developing and printing. In one of the bedrooms in the houses that we lived in, he'd just um, changed that into a dark room, so I'd be standing up on a stool and he'd be developing and then it would, the, 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 the print would be um, thrown into the water and then I'd pick it up with tongs and put it into the fix. Uh, and I quite enjoyed doing that from an early age and, and worked after school, um, learnt colour printing, became, at the age of 16, became um, camp photographer at the local caravan site which freaked me out because I really wasn't that type of person. Um, I preferred working in the dark room and being, um, yeah, in the background um, which is the same now. I'm not really at ease in front of a camera. <laughs> having that background of photography and knowing a bit about, or quite a bit about um, colour photography did really help me and I felt quite confident about applying for the job at the National Film Unit, which, as I said, was just a, a complete change. Um, but I, I grew into that and it's always helped. When the film lab was being set up, I was doing listing of... Um, photographs, um, negatives, and it was very, very helpful because of the background that I'd had with working with Dad and, and Mum too, that um, I knew all of the sizes of the old negatives um, and knew what the prints knew, the different stocks, film types, um, and that, that was really helpful with that couple of years probably I spent um, listing here at Archive. I did come across a few difficulties and a few problems. One time the manager said to me, ah but Lynn if you would have had to have dealt with that client you would have burst into tears and gone home. Um, well I wouldn't. <laughs> But it's, it's always something that's um, stuck with me. So there, there were a few hurdles and a few obstacles to get over, but 
I think I enjoyed the work so much and I did enjoy working with the clients and the majority of them just were um, brilliant to work with. Some were extremely difficult but that's life. I always feel that we're stepping back in time and feel that it's more as if we're working in the 1980s or 1990s with the, all of the equipment that we've got. Nothing, nothing has been advanced digitally at all. Well, I, f I feel absolutely privileged to have been able to have been part of the team that is preserving the national, all of the National Film Unit collection and a lot of other um, films that are held here at archives. Some of the early films that I did, that I had worked on, it has been a bit odd. And um, especially if I find notes in the can that have been written by me <laughs> in the 1980s or 1990s and I'm thinking, oh, this is very peculiar. In fact, one, one note was actually describing the grade and I thought it was almost as if it was me, so my voice from the 1980s telling me what to do now. <laughs> it was it was helpful. <laughs> <laughs>